Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can customize your PowerShell console inside VS Code, for example. So here you see the default version. So for example, there's no Git information directly visible from there. And here you have the updated version where you can see the current Git branch, for example. Here I will try to switch to a new branch and you will see the current branch name directly here, which is the master branch. the latest command line execution time, the host name and the current user, and the current date too. In order to deploy this, you need to install two PowerShell modules, omiposh and poshgit. So by using this command line here, we will deploy the omiposh one. You will have the command line in the description section below. You need to accept to all here by typing a yes to all and now we deploy push git so oh my push is responsible for uh, the customization of the console and, and the ability to use various themes uh, for colors and so on and push git is the module allowing to add more git information directly into the powershell console So now we will edit the default profile for PowerShell console. So this module will be loaded by default. So just type code dollar profile and you modify this file here in visual code, for example. So you import those module by default and you set the default uh, on my push theme that will customize the look and feel of your console. So here is blue owl, for example. So now let's try to launch a new PowerShell console from VS Code. And you will notice that there are some weird characters here. It's because the current font doesn't contain the right uh, glyphs or the special characters. So we need to use a font that contains them. So basically you can open the nerd font website that will find the link in the section below and download uh, one of those fonts here so for example here I'll choose the mellow nerd font here download it so I've already downloaded it and just install into your Windows system So you just need to extract the zip file and choose uh, one of those uh, TTF files that will work to install the font into your system. So it will contain the right glyph or special characters that will appear in the oh my posh theme. So now we will configure VS Code to use these new fonts so we will not have any more the bad display in the console. So just open Preferences Settings, type Font in the search bar and just go to Editor Font Family and add the current family name of your newly installed font. which is mellow JL nerd font here. So now you can see just below that the glyphs are correct in the console and the wrong display uh, has disappeared. So let's try to open a git folder now. And it's working as expected. And 
I try to modify a file, you will see that the display will change uh, slightly. As you see, that basically means that the current branch has been modified. If you open the Oh My Posh website, you can check all the current themes available and you can even create your own. You will find the My Posh website in the description below. So as you see here, there's various look and feels. For example, here, this one. I will change the theme through the profile file from PowerShell. Just open a new one and the new look and feel has been applied. So in this theme you can see the um, current um, battery level of my laptop which is 80% for example here. You can see the console type which is PowerShell for example. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful give the thumbs up and see you in the next one.